Uh, we are here with Amy from Evanescence. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Well, now, congratulations are in order because I understand, did you win the Golden Gods Revolver? Best vocalist. Ba- raw! Yeah. <laughs> did you get a trophy? Some yeah. Money? You know what's funny about it? I took it and wasn't thinking, and then I looked at it later at the hotel room. I was like, holy crap, that's the uh, Stonehenge from Spinal Tap. No way! Yeah, it's Fantastic. like the little mini Stonehenge. <laughs> was that so the funny. voting that was going on on Twitter? I follow you on Twitter, there and was I wasn't sure. There was a couple of things going on, okay. and that was one of them. Yeah, it was a fan voted thing. So now tell me about the other thing because did you do Austin City Limits? Yeah, I did. <gasps> the Johnny Cash. That tribute. was really cool. Holy cow! What did you do? I haven't seen any video. Or it's what's the... not. They, I know they were filming it. I think okay. they're going to put it on PBS like in the fall or something. Oh, like great! That. Okay. It was like a whole. It was Austin City Limits, but it was just all Johnny Cash like covers by a bunch of different artists. Most of the people there were in, you know, the country world, the bluegrass <laughs> world, and the folk world. Uh, Willie Nelson was there. He closed the show. Um, Cheryl Crow, uh, Chris Christopherson, a bunch of people that I'm not normally aligned with. But it was cool because I think Johnny Cash is somebody that everybody loves. I mean, he's totally cross genres. Right. And, you know, I got up and I sang uh, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry. Did you do that with Willie Nelson? No, I did it with the, okay. the band. Like all the house band was this awesome group of musicians doing stuff. Was, I can't even imagine how amazing that. It was really beautiful and and simple. And I didn't try to like create a piano part and make the whole thing totally. It's not that it wasn't my own, but I was like, mm-hmm. let's just do this stripped down and straight and just sing. Will there be a really CD cool. version or is it just? I don't know what they're gonna do with it. You know, we okay. they have the rights to do whatever they want with it, but I know it'll be on at least the internet, but right. hopefully TV in a couple months. Well, congratulations on the new record. Thanks. It's been out for a while, and yeah. I wanted to ask you, I heard a great story when you were working on this. I think it was Tim and Terry Probably. were in another room <laughs> working on the guitar parts, and you were over here in another room working on the vocals, and you were reticent to bring it to them because you were afraid they would perceive you were trying to be <laughs> Janet Jackson. Oh, that's funny. It's funny how your words come back to you, like through telephone, and you hear that. <laughs> I Googled Amy. Find out some stuff. We had, you know, we wrote this record forever. We had a lot of different writing sessions in our, each other's homes and in just spots in the middle of nowhere and whatever. And um, we were writing at my house, and we had two studios going, one up in, I've got a little studio upstairs, and one we'd turn the living room into, like, Studio 2. And they were working on that riff, and I loved it. I was working on another song kind of at the same time, or lyrics to one that we'd worked on, and I came down and... Um, yeah, I don't know. When I came up with a vocal melody to what you want, it's so fun <laughs> to me. What you want, you no, want. it's funny to say. Yeah, exactly. It's like <laughs> I, th- I think vocally, I love that dichotomy between the kind of fun, almost poppy vocal hook and the very heavy song. I think that's what makes it interesting for me. You know, heavy's heavy, but I think it's it's cool to have a neat combination of everything.